Hey, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to calculate sales for previous week and also calculate the percentage change when compared to the previous week, right? So this is what we'll be learning today. So let's get started. Let's begin with adding a few calculated columns. So this is going to be a new column. I'm going to add a new column where we are going to identify the week number. Okay, I'm going to say week number is equals to week num and I'm going to select the date column from my table over here, which is order date in this case. Okay, I'm going to press enter. So I have a new column, which is week number that is created. And then I'm going to create another column called as week start date. Okay, this is going to define when your week is actually starting. Okay, so I'm going to type in order date, okay, plus minus one, multiply by weekday of order date, okay, close the bracket, comma, one, sorry, weekday, don't close the bracket, comma, one, this defines that my week is going to start on a Sunday. Likewise, if you select two, that defines that your week is going to start on a Monday, right? In my case, the week is starting on a Sunday. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to close the bracket and I'm going to type in plus one. Okay, this is going to give my week start date. Likewise, let us also create a new column to identify the week end date. Okay, week end date is equals to uh, order date okay plus seven minus one multiply by weekday of order date okay comma one okay i'm going to close the bracket and press enter now i have my week end date now let us rank these weeks right let's create a new column and let's rank these weeks i'm, call, I'm going to call this as week rank is equals to I'm going to use the rank function within Power BI um, and then I'm going to select say uh, all of my sales 2021 comma week start date by week start date comma comma and then this needs to rank by ascending because we want the first week to have first rank right so this is going to be ascending comma and then this is going to be dense right i'm going to close the bracket and press enter we now have created four columns which is week end date week number week rank and then we have week start date now let us create a couple of measures to get the sales amount right first let us create a measure to get the sales amount this week so let's call this sales this week is equals to calculate sum of my sales column over here sum of sales okay close the bracket comma filter all select the sales table over here close the bracket comma week rank the column that we created is equals to max of week rank okay close the bracket here until the entire uh, loop is completed and press enter okay so this is now going to give us the sales this week now let us quickly check by adding in a table over here let's add the week number which is over here and then let's change this so that it does not summarize so we get all the numbers over here and don't summarize okay so we now have all the week numbers let me pull in the sales amount from the table this is the actual sales amount which is table this is not the calculated column this is the actual sales amount right now we created another measure here to calculate the sales this week amount which is over here so let's pull this in over here and check if it is matching uh, so the numbers here seems to be matching right all the rows that you can see here the numbers are matching except for the total which we will discuss about it later so now 
we have achieved the first bit over here which is sales this week now let's proceed with creating uh, another measure which will help us calculate the sales for last week okay so let's get started so for this what i will do is i'm going to copy this measure over here which we just created sales this week and then i'm going to go here click on new measure and then paste this and then i'm going to call this as sales last week is equals to my formula over here that we just copied and if you notice here there's a max thing that max formula that we used so i'm going to at the end of the max formula i'm going to type in minus one which basically is telling us week number minus one get us the sales amount for that particular week okay i'm going to press enter now uh, we now have created a second measure which is sales last week let's quickly pull this in right so first week over here obviously we don't have any sales prior to this so it's showing us zero and likewise in the week two here it is giving us the sales amount for last week which is three five six one likewise over here in week 12 it is giving us the sales amount for the week 11 right so this seems to be working fine again over here you you see that the totals are not working fine right now let us now go ahead and create the week on week percentage change okay so that's a simple thing i think everybody understands that so i'm just going to call this uh sales week sales week over week change percentage okay so this is basically uh going to be <coughs> this week sales this week minus last week sales last week divided by sales last week okay i'm going to press enter over here so we now have another measure that is created week over week okay and then i'm going to format this to percentage and I like to have two decimal points and then i'm going to bring this in over here sorry not in this new table sales week on week change one thing that we missed adding over here is our brackets these are important so let's add them quickly and now we have this right so the first one obviously it's going to be infinity over here and the second one it's just comparing uh, sales last week with this week and it is the difference is about 87 percent likewise if you see here sales have declined so it is that is negative 32 percent right so this is how you create sales this week sales last week and also the change percentage Right now you might also add in a filter here uh, for the week number and have a drop down down over here so or a list where uh, you can select the week numbers from okay so you can select the week numbers over here and see uh, what is happening with those uh, weeks right now and also i will be making another video where i will be teaching you how to fix the totals in these columns over here now basically uh, the way power bi works is sometimes when you create measures the totals are not correct so you will have to uh, uh, change or tweak the uh, dax formula so that your totals are appearing correct for which i will be creating another video uh, uh, on my channel so please watch that video to learn how to fix the totals of a column within power bi right i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new i am making a lot of power bi tutorials on my channel so please see those videos and try to learn as much as possible and also comment down below if you need help with anything and make a tutorial for you guys to follow and achieve what you're trying to achieve thank i hope you've enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching